is me, Sivika. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a Navigate the Ball app. Let's get started. But before we get started, turn on the notification bell and give me a big thumbs up. Did you do it? Okay, now let's get started. Okay, I created a blank workspace so we can do all our stuff. We're going to go to Sprite. We're going to need three of these. But not the same character. We're going to need totally different characters. We're going to need a wrench, a ball, and a net. If you, if you look in the drop down and you don't have any, the, these three items, and you just go to more, and there's a whole lot of sections. I would recommend going to all because then you can see all of the choices. Okay. Now let's pick it back around. I almost forgot that. Almost. Okay. Now let's um, set the placing. I like the one to exactly where it is, so I'm going to keep that there. But I'm going to change the other two places. I'm going to put the ball right uh, Where did I put the ball? Right at the corner. I'm going to put the net right here. Perfect. That's perfect. Now let's set the sizes because the ball's too big and the net's too small. So let's do that. So, we're going to need two of these because we're going to change the ball size and the net size. First, we're going to set the ball size to 50. That looks good. Now, we're going to set the net size to... Uh, two. One more, please. 150. Perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, now we're going to code the events. When up press, down press, left press, and right press. And when ball touches two, and when the ball touches the goal. Now, here's the tricky part. When the ball touches the tool, it deflates. That's the tricky part. You know? Yeah. So you can't touch the tool. Well, that's the goal of the game. But if you touch the tool, the ball is going to deflate, which is going to mean remove. So, why don't you sit seven? Okay, we're going to need four of these. And two of these. Now, let's change the fixes. It has to be when ball touches net and when ball touches wet. And it changes these when up press, down press, left press, and right press. Okay. Now, let's first start on these. Okay, so when 
The ball touches the wrench it's supposed to remove. So go to sprites and remove the ball. And that's all for that. And now when ball touches net, you're also supposed to remove the ball. So it acts like it went into the goal. And my favorite part, you're gonna quit goal. Now let's work with up press, down press, press, left press, and right press. Okay, so we're going to go to accents, and we're going to put this, and we're going to need four of these. Okay. Perfect. Now attach them to the um, um, events. Now we have to change it. When up press, go to the drop down and go to all of the drop downs, actually, and put on the soccer ball. Like this. Okay? And then I'm going to change these. North to south to west to east. Basic idea. Let's try it. Hey, it works. Oh man. So we know it works, but we have to we press the keys like so many times. So what I like to do is what I like to do is I like to change from when to while. So instead of touching the keys a whole bunch of times, you can just hold it. That's my favorite thing. Ah, it touched it. The wrench. Let's try it again. And see if, if it touches the goal, it works. Yes! Subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications bell, give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!